Amen. So within this video, y'all are going to get a lot of information about what is going to be in NBA 2K25 and what you can really expect, man. We got Double H and Badge Plug going at it and Young Swan coming to save the day. We're talking about them goddamn Zens, them damn cheaters. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K in existence. Y'all be sure to hit that like button if you're not an NPC. Now look, Badge Plug tweeted out, I went into a 2K stream yesterday to see what the new event looked like, and the guy was very noticeably using a Zen. It will only get worse and worse. Still would rather have Zens that have 5,000 different shot times, especially now that people found a way around it. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with Young Badge. <laughs> now, make sure y'all watch the full video because y'all gonna see what I have to really say about this. I break it down to science. Now, Double H says, this is your worst take. Mm. We will never agree on this. Now, y'all gotta understand, this is big dogs in the community. Lots of views, you know? They don't create the whole game, but they definitely, like the people that are looking at the community who create the game, they are influenced by people like this, even me and even you little bot. Y'all don't understand how big your voice really is. You see, people can see this, there's a there's a domino effect. One person spread, he spread it to 10. That person spread it to 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It spreads, they see it, they make a decision, right? I'm telling you, your voice can spread to someone and it can spread to someone big and uh, hey, you're bigger than what you think, man. So then, Double H tweeted out, sneak dissing young badge. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing creators complain and complain about 2K having multiple shot timings and saying that it doesn't stop cheaters anyways. So they should just go back to one time and this couldn't be further from the truth. Let me explain my why. Sorry in advance for the long explanation. Ever since 2K added multiple shot timing, Zens have not worked since. <laughs> eh. Zens are the most common and easiest accessible device. Facts. <laughs> And 2K completely patched them with different shot timings, among other things. Now there are other devices that are not called Zen that 0.001% of the community have that color coordinates with the shot meter. Take out the shot meter. Okay, I'm gonna go into in depth why I believe that. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with Double H2 and how you feel about this in general. And then he says, which could be completely patched if they remove meter. The only people that use this are people that are super deep in the game and play stage threes, and most of them are super open about cheating. It's not true. Most of them are not. There's a select few that are open. He says, the complaining about different shot timing and saying it's harder for legit players to shoot is very dumb. I guarantee you if you go back and look at your 3.0% in 2K21 current gen, where there was one timing your three point percent is almost identical, if not better today. Mine has literally gotten better. This is one of the easiest shooting 2Ks. Um, it's just that it's fundamentally broken. And I'm gonna go in depth about that later on, okay? Mike Wang is playing God, I don't like it. I don't care if I'm shooting better. I shoot 75% plus from three, but I don't like someone playing God. He says, because some of you asked for them to go back to one timing. That happens, the amount of people that will be cheating will go from point zero zero one, basically only the people that play stage three to like 35% of players, just like 2K21, 35% of players were not cheating in 2K21, relax. It was not that high. <laughs> Y'all let me know the percent you think. Then he says, the game is way better off with multiple shot timings. I remember when Zens worked, I was playing Cheaters in Park every game. That's because you're a creator. Double H, you be losing touch. You be losing touch. A lot of the um, things you say and stuff, it's like you kind of like you lose in touch. Like you don't remember like who you are. Like when you go in the park, like certain people going to pull up. Like your experience is going to be different from a certain person, you know, and then I don't, I don't think you'd be looking at it from like the casual view, you know, You're tripping, man. Maybe 35% of the people who pulled up on you, but not the average user. You saying the whole base? That's, that sounds crazy. <laughs> now, Badge responds. 
He said, removing a shop meter will completely patch it now. But I heard there's a script with no meter, but um, they should just remove the meter, bro. It really handicaps. I'm gonna go into depth about that later, okay? He keeps saying that it's just extremely wrong. They still going at it. You know, they going at it cordial. You know, they gonna be cordial. They got the juice, you know? They ain't trying to offend each other, right? Now here goes that real, you know? The genius himself. The ISO God Sensei. <laughs> so I respond to Double H's tweet. I say, I feel it. My thing is, 2K has never been 100% one timing. This is facts, okay? I've been playing since the first 2K. Um, There's always been multiple timings, but they just weren't as drastic. I think people should use consistent timing. There's definitely no point in using the shot meter, they should just take it out. It's just training wheels and it really hurts users in general because you wanna know why? Because the average user, when they're shooting and all that, they're looking at their meter. They're not really looking at who's pinching, who's picking up, how close they are, how to crab this and that. They're too focused on that meter, it throws them off. Now, when you really learn the time and you can, you can look at your hand and you can see more instead of focusing on the meter that sometimes lags, it, it, it's too much um it throws people off that's why they just y'all just gotta take it off take off the training wheels you can go way faster be way better just like real life the real problem isn't the multiple shot timings it's the random unpredictable shot timings the random times that 2k makes you miss even when you time it right and have the right stamina and animation prediction if you know you know y'all let me know if i'm speaking facts Sometimes you'll get speed ups, sometimes you won't, sometimes you'll get slowdowns, and sometimes you won't. And it seems like when you do fast movement and shoot quick, it makes you miss even when you time everything right. Sometimes when you do fast movement, you have a higher chance of getting a slowdown or speed ups and it's very, I think this is implemented to nerf the better players and to cater to the casual negative whimper sense where the game is just broken if it's not intentional. This is one of the easiest 2Ks to shoot and I shoot 75% from three, but it just feels like when I miss, it's usually not a timing issue. Mike Wang is playing God and no past 2K could I ever shoot the percent I have now but there's still an annoying, huge issue. Y'all let me know if y'all agree. Now, basically, with all this happening, especially with Double H really really being in with 2K and, um, you know, the solo guy and stuff, they over here saying this is like the best looking park in city ever of any park, um, bro. <laughs> bro, we gonna get into that in another video, but, uh, bro there's definitely going to be multiple shot timings and all that in 2k25 y'all let me know if y'all are excited about that my whole thing is the random timings they gotta fix it dog make it predictable right if i crab someone i want it to always be a slowdown or a speed up someone's always on the side of me whatever i want it to be predictable right when you don't have predictability, your game is horrible. You feel me? A lot of people just don't understand. They don't they don't know what's going on when they're playing, so they don't have a lot of complaints. But once you really understand the science of this whole, it can like get very annoying because of the RNG, the random generated number. It's like it's just random. It's not cool, bro. Once you reach a certain level of enlightenment, it's not it's not cool, dog. It's like when you cook your steak a certain way, you know, you want it to taste a certain way, not just be random. You feel me? It's trash. Anywho, y'all make sure y'all go check out my uh last rec video. I played with a real life coach in real life. Click the click 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 it on the screen. A real life coach in the rec. <laughs> it's hilarious. If you don't laugh, I owe you $300. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, 
Off the top of the dome, dome.